Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce joined by Stevenson Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. And Coach, obviously a very exciting weekend last weekend. Um, you had the opportunity to host the NCAA uh, Regional. Um, first, let's just talk about, before we get into the matches themselves, just the experience of the kids we going to play on their home court in the NCAAs and everything that went into it and just the whole weekend. Well, our athletic department just did a phenomenal job. And the goal of Brett Adams and our staff was to make this a special experience for the student athletes that played and for the parents that attended. And absolutely it was. Everything was um, just taken up a notch from anything that you see during the season. And uh, the compliments from coaches and parents and uh, players um, validated what we were trying to do. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and so I was just really honored to, to actually be a part of this university and with the, the job that they did over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, certainly, it was, like I said, it was just a first-class event from start mm -hmm. to finish. Um, you open up Friday night, you play Hunter in front of a big crowd, um, and that match kind of, you could kind of tell quickly that you were uh, maybe a little bit of a different talent level than they were and kind of got out to a fast start and didn't look back. Uh, and, and some of that was <clears throat> one of the things I said to Mariah Savage, Lauren Jan and Chelsea Ireland at practice on Saturday in front of the whole team. I, and they're all juniors. Yeah. I said, how many NCAA matches have you won? And they had to think for a second. They said, none. And I said, exactly. That is how difficult it is to win an NCAA Absolutely. match. Of course, the last two years we've been put out first round. Yeah. And try to set the stage for not looking past Hunter, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think we did. And sometimes when a team played extremely well, which we did, it, we made the made Hunter not look as good as they were. And they yeah. were twenty seven and four coming uh, in. Absolutely, you know. And so they were a good team, but yeah. they were on our court. We had a huge crowd. They probably never played in front of a crowd like that this year, and they were loud. And uh, all those things worked together for us to put together a, a really great match. Yeah. Um, what? How important, like you said, to get that first to get that first win after. You know, the last couple of years, you know, going out in the first round. Well, to me, it would have been embarrassing to host and lose in the first round, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So yeah. I, I thought that it would had to happen. And, of course, for us to move on, it had to happen. Right. So uh, the, the girls came ready to play that night and play with a lot of confidence. And so, um, you know, our goal, of course, was to go to the final eight. And yeah. you've got to win the first one. Yeah, absolutely. Then the next night, you got uh, Johns Hopkins back on your home floor. Um, you know, team you'd beat early in the season. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Saturday night, um, a little bit different of a match, and uh, Hopkins was able to prevail. Take us a little bit through that one. Well, yeah, that, that, that was tough, and Hopkins played much better. Yeah. Uh, first time they played us in a 6-2, this time it was a 5-1. Um, the matchups were a little bit different in the front row. And to tell you the truth, we had not lost to them since 2012. And they're an excellent program, obviously ranked yeah. number 12 in the right. country. So I, kind of the uh, odds just ran out yeah. you know, against us. Uh, but they beat us. Yeah. You know, there's no question. And, you know, and people kept saying, well, they're serves. They missed 16 and 17 serves. And myself, I was thinking, well, if they miss that many serves, how are they going to beat us? Well, they beat us because they passed. Yeah. Uh, our passing was not terrible. It was just okay. Yeah. It was, you know, against their tough serving. But they passed us. We didn't have an ace. I mean, that tells yeah. you a little bit about how much they were in system and took advantage of that. And our offense is very fast. <clears throat> and if we have single blocking across the front, it's tough to stop them. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of what happened. They passed, they passed fantastic, and they get a lot of credit for beating us on our home court. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, a little bit. You know, unfortunately, they didn't have an injury that, you know, they lost someone that, you know, they didn't have in the regional final right. on Sunday. And just talk a little bit about the regional final, great five-set match that Swarthmore ultimately advanced in. Yeah, well, when um, – Sasha went down, one of their middles went yeah. down, just really unfortunate. Uh, it was the end of the third set. We were reeling, and but, excuse me, end of the second set, yeah. and we were reeling. And it kind of, they made them rework their whole lineup. They went back to a 6-2 for a little bit, yeah. and that did not work. And we easily won, kind of easily won that third set. And... Um, but they were able to regroup, and we, it was 10-9 there in the fourth, yeah. and uh, they were able to put a nice run together yeah. and win it. Um, on Sunday against Swarthmore, it was the same kind of thing. Hopkins had beaten Swarthmore three times. Yeah. 
in a row, and they beat them twice during the season. And you know that old sports adage, it's tough to beat a good team three times, yeah. and that kind of worked against Hopkins. Fantastic match. Swarthmore deserved it. Yeah. I did not think they had enough firepower to play to beat Hopkins. Hopkins was a little bit more tentative with their serving. They only had four aces this time. Last time they played SWAT, they had 12. Yeah. So they passed a little bit better than Hopkins is used to. Swarthmore was in system, and their hitters did a great job. And they played with so much uh, grit and tenacity um, and phenomenal defense to be able to beat Hopkins and move on to the final eight. Yeah, and certainly as a fan on Sunday, if, you know, without a dog in the fight, it was a phenomenal match yeah, to watch. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. I'm a volleyball fan. Yeah. You know, it, it, it wasn't that much fun that we weren't in it. Right. But I really wanted to go and, and, and be part of the hosting team yeah. uh, after everything. Everyone had done so much for us, and uh, they and we saw a great match on Sunday. Yeah. And then this morning, um, got some more good news. Mm -hmm. um, Annika Schwartz named first team All-American. First time you ever had that happen. And then uh, Deanna Bradbury, Mariah Savage, Kate Leftridge, all named honorable mention. Um, obviously, Annika, first first time All-American, first team All-American you've ever had. Um, obviously, caps off a great career for her. I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier for Annika. She's put in a lot of time and hard work, and she's a nursing student. So yeah. that makes it, to me, a lot harder and a lot more stressful. Here's a kid that's every other Sunday night is working overnight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so well, when do you sleep? You know, between, you know, before she goes to class on Monday. She said her classes started late on Monday. Uh, so it, it, is, it is stressful. That's life. Yeah. You know, work and think these things out and be able to uh, um, do all the things that you want to do. So it's a great cap to her career and for her to be first team. And, and for the other three, you know, Deanna, that's the second team she's been honorable mention. Mariah, the second team. And Katie, the first yeah. time she's been honorable mention All-American. So two of them are coming back. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Coach, this is the last time we'll have you this season. Mm -hmm. um, just – what do you take away from this season most of all? You know, the 33 wins, uh, being able to host. What do, you, what do you take away the most? Well, you know, looking back, you know, as a coach, you're thinking, should we have lost once or twice more to kind of point out those weaknesses? But had we lost once or twice more, we would not have been hosting. Right. So our goal was to go to the NCAA tournament at the beginning of the year and be a high seed. Yeah. which we did, and we took advantage of that. But then then even if you're a high C, you're going to get a tough second rounder. Absolutely. So I'm very – I'm really disappointed that we didn't go farther, but how couldn't I be just absolutely ecstatic about our season? Yeah. You know, 33-2, and two, you know, what more can I ask for? I always sit down before the season and I write down worst possible scenario. To me, that was 17-13. and 13. Yeah. If we do about like I thought, 21-10 and 10, – yeah. Ecstatic would have been fantastic. I had 24 and 6. Yeah. So 33 so and 3, 2. 3, 2. I, that's yes, a, it exceeded, way far exceeded my expectations. So yeah. I've got to be very happy. Absolutely. Well, Coach, we thank you for all your time this season. We'll rejoin you in the spring for uh, the beach volleyball season. It's beach season now. Absolutely. Um, doesn't feel like it outside right now. No. But, <laughs> but, uh, but again, thanks for all your time this season. And, um, you know, we'll catch up with you in the spring. I'll, I'll look forward to it, Greg. All right. For Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.